Um, probably I'll probably reflect on it more later on. I think right now, um, I probably don't do as good a job as I should do as like enjoying the moment. And, but I just, this is how I'm wired to just keep on thinking about the next practice, the next game. Like you know, I don't want to relax in it. Um, but it's definitely been, um, it's been fun to. I mean, it's obviously Steph has been incredible. Like the way he's just changed the game. There's been a few of us that have gotten to kind of be a part of that story as far as, you know, the, the three-point shooting uh, philosophies and, and strategies that, that all these teams have uh, really gone to and the focus has been now across the NBA. Um, and it feels good to feel like you played maybe a little role in that. Um, but certainly there's been a lot of guys who just, it's really fun to watch. I think the game is in a much more fun state than it was when I first came into the NBA and uh, I think three-point shooting has been a big part of it. Do you have thoughts on, on where this goes from here? I mean, it's all, <laughs> you know, pace and space now. Is there a next step that you see coming already? Um, you know, I don't know. Just probably. I think, uh, I think I mean, there's been so much change in just the last five years, really, you know, as far as, like, Basically, if you can't shoot threes, like, if you can't shoot, it's hard. It's really hard to be on the court. I mean, unless you're, you're Rudy and you're seven foot three and amazing, right? Um, but, I mean, the game's really changed where, I mean, really everyone has to be able to shoot. You know, there's been jokes about a four-point line. I, I, I think it could happen, and I think people could shoot them well, actually, if they wanted to do it. It's a pretty big change to make. Um, but who knows what happens next.